What's up, homegirls of the world? This is Sarah Waxman, your chief mama of At The Well. If you're watching this video, it's because you care about your wellness. And At The Well believes that your wellness is the intersection of the health and science of your body and the spirituality of your soul. When we investigate them together alongside each other as individuals within community, we have the potential to really be living our full selves in our most expansive life. So thanks for joining the movement and thanks for helping us spread the word so we can scoop up all of our homegirls around the globe. As you can see from the sky, the moon is starting to get dark again, which means that it's time to shift. In our Hebrew calendar, we shift every time we can no longer see the moon. It's called a new moon. Um, this month is ER and it's all about our healing. I want you to think about this time in actually a three month period. So last month we had the month of Nisan, which is where we had Passover. And Passover is about expansiveness, moving from narrow, tight spaces to being free, freedom. And then we have this month of ER, which is all about our healing. And then the next month, when the, when the moon gets dark again, it will be about um, receiving and actually stepping into our full self. So you can see how this is like a real narrative arc. And in our Hebrew calendar, this is an auspicious time and it's called counting of the Omer because the beginning is Passover, which is not the end of our freedom. It's the beginning of our freedom. It's the moment that we went, each individual, every single Jewish person throughout all of time goes from being a slave into being free. And so then we have to ask ourselves, what do we do right when we get free? And our Hebrew calendar is giving us the answer. It says, first we must heal. And this is the month of healing. And then, once we've done that, we can grow and we can change and we can shift. And that's what's going to happen in the month of Sivan. So this month is about healing. And in our tradition, our rabbis really wonder what this means. And they say that there's a difference between healing and a cure. You might never have a cure if you have a terminally ill disease. But there's always a chance for healing. Because healing in our Jewish text means an idea of wholeness or completeness and that's always available to everybody but you must do your work and this month of ER is a time that we do that so check out our resources below and we're going to help you sort of understand what that means to heal because healing is a part of our wellness so I have these amazingly gorgeous flowers next to me and they're an inspiration and they're beautiful and they smell amazing and I feel I feel light when I'm with them so that's a preview of what you can check out in Naomi Schiffman's teachings from our ER resources. She's a homegirl that lives in Israel and is going to teach us about connecting to the land and how that might be a source of healing for us. In our materials, you can check out information on the Shekhinah, which is divine female energy within Judaism. So moving away from thinking of God as this old dude above, not a Jewish concept, the Jewish concept of God is, is undescribable and definitely formless. Um, but because we have a gendered language, which is Hebrew, a lot of the times the pronouns for God is in the male. But there's also chances um, to, to look at God in the female. And we have that in our materials this month. And then check out angels and how you might use them as a way of feeling whole. I can't tell you enough how much this month is really resonating with me. I recently had ACL reconstruction surgery, so my entire month is really about healing. And what I get from my teachings, teachers and Jewish tradition is that if I have something that's going on in my body, it's not just going on in my body. It's going on in my whole self, which is my heart and my mind as well. So although I'm healing from an actual physical injury, I need to make sure that I'm taking time to be with my heart and be with my mind so that I can have a complete healing, a complete wholeness to myself because they're all connected and they're related. So I invite you this month to be diligent and to be focused and um, to really spend time thinking about what makes you whole. What do you need to heal in order to get to Sivan when you can receive? And I promise you that if you do this work right now, with an alignment of our cycles, and you're doing it alongside your homegirls in your well circle, um, you're going to be able to have a, um, a really beautiful Sivan. So take the chance with me. Check out our resources. Again, thanks so much for joining the movement, and please help us spread. See ya!